there. So I'm in some very strange location. This is where I'm going to sit and talk about shit. What a better place for shit to happen than on a, on a toilet. <laughs> yes, I'm a dweeb. I know you want to judge me. I don't mind me for being a little bit underdressed right now. I don't. If you guys already realized, I don't always like to dress up super and in your face and with lots of makeup and jewelry and shit. I'm wearing my pajamas right now and I'm just kind of chilling because, I don't know, it's like 4.30 a.m. and I don't really feel like getting dressed right now. <laughs> and personally, I don't really feel like I need to dress a certain way to impress people or grab the attention of people. So I don't, like even in all of my past videos, I don't always look the PGist. Like when I did my makeup tutorial a while back with the, <laughs> the exaggerated title, emo scene, dramatic panda smoky eye makeup, that was seriously one morning where I just rolled out of bed. It's like, okay, I gotta go to school. I had people requesting for the makeup style that I, I had that day. So I ended up doing that and posted it. I don't really, like, there's a time and place for everything. I don't really feel like I have to get overly dressed up and overly made up just to present myself on the internet because I'm just myself. Like, I, I accept me in every state, but I mean, I'm never going to actually make a video where I'm just greasy and haggard as all hell and look sweaty or something unless maybe I was doing a vlog and was showing you guys something because <laughs> I mean that, that's going to come <laughs> that is besides the point previously I made a video having to do with the fact that well where are my eyebrows ordeal I am still getting this question asked by so many people but I know for a fact of the matter that when I answered that question I did it in the most trollish way I'm just going to actually give you now the logical reason why I have no eyebrows. Now, I'm just going to start off with saying that I don't mean to offend anyone in this video in any way. I don't mean to offend anyone in any of my videos in any way. I just... The best way of putting it, I can be a poo head too. <laughs> I don't have to be a poo head if I'm sitting near the toilet because, you know, I just flush, flush that shit down. I did not remove my eyebrows for the aspect of originality and trying to be different or anything like that. I realize that there is many people, there's lots of people actually, more than me, just little me, that have no eyebrows. It's all personal preference. I mean, some people naturally have albino eyebrows and you can't even see them anyway, so they attempt to either fill them in or half the time just look like they have no eyebrows. For me, my original type of eyebrow, I find don't shape my face nicely. They also happen to be that type of straight eyebrow that would join in the center part. Everybody probably just loves unibrows, you know. Could just go all natural and pull that unibrow off. <laughs> Personally, I, I prefer to not have a unibrow. I'm someone that likes generally like nicely tapered eyebrows. For a while, I had my eyebrows done. And for those of you out there listening, watching, staring at my face right now, are probably aware that 
actually do their eyebrows regularly and get them done and waxed or do them themselves, whatnot, if you, you all probably realize how much effort that takes out of your day. I know I have friends that will spend $30 a month just to get their eyebrows done or touched up and then there's other people who will probably sit there for a few hours trying to tweeze up their eyebrows and get them the way they want them and then somehow mess them up and then end up having to fill them in and every morning having to wake up, fill them in and have them that nice shape that they want or have to touch them up every so often because they like wipe their sleeve on their forehead because they're all sweaty or they don't use finishing spray on their makeup so they don't last all day or they start to fade because maybe they're not the best with makeup skills. I'm not saying I'm perfect with makeup skills or anything like that. I'm just trying to make the point that eyebrows are a pain in the ass. For some people who are very facial expressive in the lower half, don't generally need their eyebrows because I mean like, I don't talk with my eyebrows. You get that odd person that talks using their eyebrows. I mean, I could talk using my eyebrows, but normally I, I choose not to. Like I can furrow mine still and you can, you can tell when my brows are furrowed even though they're not there. Because I had straight across eyebrows that did not actually go out very far. They like stopped over here somewhere and they kind of had like thin hairs coming out near my eyebrow ring. I would always fill them in and I'm someone that likes to play sports, likes to, I don't know, just have fun and live life and I always would have to worry about my eyebrows or I'd spend the night at someone's house after like a party or just gaming or something and I'd wake up and I'd have like half eyebrows chilling. I got to this point where I was kind of like, okay, I'm going to shave off part of my eyebrow. I never actually went to shaving my eyebrows. So no, I do not shave my eyebrows. I actually tweeze out every single individual hair. Because when you shave them out, when they grow back, they'll be more coarse. And because of my hair type, if they grow back, they will be bushier than they were before. And I do not want that. So by tweezing them out, the hair comes out finer. And if I ever did really just want my eyebrows back, I could let them grow in. I just prefer to have none at this point. I mean, when I started taking off half my eyebrow, I would fill in the arch so I can make them a more sharper, better facial, emphasizing sort of brow that I thought like worked better with my facial structure and everything like that. And that got annoying and I honestly felt kind of stupid with like half eyebrows most of the time and usually my half eyebrows weren't even even half eyebrows when I didn't do my makeup. I came to the conclusion it took actually a lot of thinking because I was worried I'd look stupid without eyebrows. My eyebrows were just so thin at the base part that I was kind of just like well if I tweeze all these out and I don't feel comfortable this way or I don't appreciate them like this, then they can always grow back. I mean, it's hair. I'm not someone that generally cares. Like, I'm not really insecure about any aspects of my eyebrows at all. And once I removed them, it, it just felt right to me because I can fill in my eyebrows in any style now and I don't have that little arch piece in the way anymore. The little lines of eyebrows that I had when they were half eyebrows, they were in like the worst placement for doing the shapes of eyebrows I liked for my makeup styles that I do once in a while. So this was just what worked better for me and who knows, maybe in few years time that'll change because I mean I if it isn't apparent I'm always an ever flourishing growing person I mean some people will always feel comfortable with the way they are some people never change visually 
but I'm someone that clearly you can see changes a lot. The end and conclusion of this eyebrow story is that my eyebrows had no point to them. I removed them because they were in the way. I'm trying to teach myself different styles of makeup and whatnot and trying different things. I like doing wonky looking makeup and that's my preference. I mean, I don't care if you guys don't like it. Like, I'm happy with myself and it's, it's just great to get the respect from the certain people that wouldn't be able to do that or don't maybe don't like that sort of ordeal. I know it's asking a lot because I mean I'm on, I'm on the internet. <laughs> yeah, they were just in the way of makeup and that's how I ended up taking them off. Now, for upkeep, for eyebrow upkeep, upkeep, I actually tweeze my eyebrows every day when I wash my face. I wash my face like twice a day because I don't like it when makeup stays on for too long and gets kind of shocky and doesn't blend as well as it may have once had or have. I hope that gave you guys a little bit of insight on the perspective I had and why I have no eyebrows and I just personally I think having no eyebrows look beautiful. I mean on some people it looks kind of strange but I mean not to say that having no eyebrows doesn't look strange. It's something you get used to. Just like how, I don't know, say someone broke their nose looks strange. You just get used to it. You accept it. I mean, you probably would accept that more than having no eyebrows, but some people end up burning off their eyebrows by accident too. I just didn't like them. <laughs> I like having no eyebrows because I can go swimming and it'll look fine because I know I don't look half bad <laughs> without eyebrows. Like, personal preference wise. Because I know some of you guys are probably going to be like, Oh, what the fuck? No eyebrows! Even though I'm giving you a whole explanation as to why I did the things I did. But then again, only some people will ever listen to things. And some people will probably ask things that I've already said here in the comments. Because that happens too, a lot. <laughs> uh, human behavior. Some things we will never understand, while well, other things, well, they're just blatantly fucking obvious. I don't even know why I did that. Maybe I should have shit talk often. I think it should be a new thing, since I'm still living at home, and there are people sleeping, and this is the only quiet place I could go in where a whole house wouldn't hear me. And I can make a video and talk at a somewhat normal tone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. If y'all did. If you give me a thumbs down. I'm not gonna really care either. If I did, I honestly wouldn't have that area of YouTube open to the public. I like your feedback, so if you have anything to say or any stories of your own, or maybe you have no eyebrows too, feel free to comment below and tell me. I usually respond to a lot of the comments. I'm sorry if I don't respond to yours. Also, my social network's always down yonder slot. If you send me a message on my Facebook page, I will respond. If you want to see what I'm up to, I usually update on there and my Tumblr too. You guys, stay sweet. And I love you. Mm-hmm.